We've been sitting in the concourse all our life, finally getting in line, showing our boarding passes, going through the little tunnel, getting on the plane, sitting there on the tarmac, waiting to pull away from the gate, waiting to get out to the runway. Now we're finally on the runway and we're taxiing. We're picking up speed, picking up speed, picking up speed. You know how when you're on the plane and you start to take off and things start getting a little more blurry and a little more blurry and a little more blurry and then you're going and going really fast that's how the world is right now my friends we have gone through all of the things i said before in our lives looking at dreaming of one day of the rapture maybe being in our lifetime sometime thinking maybe we might see one prophetic thing happen every several years then every couple years then every year then every six months then every month then weekly then daily then hourly we're seeing prophecy be fulfilled we're racing down the runway right now, getting ready, getting ready for that plane to take off. And when that plane takes off, we're gonna hear the shofar, we're gonna hear come hither, Jesus shout, and dead in Christ shall rise first. Then all of us who are alive, who are Christians, real Christians, not Ian's, Christians who live the way the Bible says, cover to cover, repenting of our sins after we're saved, will be caught up in the air together with all the babies and young children under whatever age God deems suitable for the age of accountability. We'll meet them in the air and then go to the New Jerusalem and praise the Lord. We'll be starting it off. That seven year glory, seven years of just awesome, unbelievable wonders and joys and, and just magnificence while this earth is just going through seven years of hell. It just seems so strange to see this happening right now. When I was a youngster, never thought it would happen. I never thought Jesus would even come close to coming back in my lifetime. Never even thought about it. I never even thought about it even 10 years ago. It didn't even cross my mind. But in the last five years, I've been thinking about it more and more. In the last two, an awful lot. In the last year, an extremely amount. In this last several months, it's been getting just like crazy. I'm going through in my watchman duties and finding all these things happening around the world that are just pointing to what's going on. I've got videos that cover it. My, my biggest video was 110 things that have gone on since 1111 that have just shown how close we are to the Lord's return. So I cover it all there, so I won't cover it here, but you know it all. The monetary collapses around the whole world and all the disease and plague and famine and pestilence and all the people being homeless and getting thrown out of their houses, housing market crashing, businesses crashing, all the tornadoes, hurricanes, typhoons, floods, mudslides, fires, cold spells, heat spells, all the insect pestilences, plagues, disease, murder, violence, rape, lawlessness, anger, everything just happening. All of the, the animals die off, Hosea 4.3 being fulfilled, everything happening like crazy. The plane is just starting to taxi now. And, and we're picking up speed, picking up speed, picking up speed. And when those wheels lift off the ground, praise the Lord, the Heaven 47 on Christ Air, Flight 777, nonstop, one way, first class choice of aisle or window seat to the New Jerusalem. <laughs> oh yeah, that plane's taking off. And those of us ready are gonna be on that baby, just flying to the New Jerusalem to meet Jesus Christ and to, and to just go through all of the joys and, and the beauty that we're gonna see in heaven. Walking in the streets of gold, meeting Jesus Christ initially, like I said, and then walking the streets of gold and seeing all the saints of old and the angels and eating of the tree of life, drinking of the water of life, getting our mansion, getting our rewards. Even though I don't deserve any rewards, and I know most of us don't think we do. Jesus has got stuff for us anyways. And like I've said many times, if Jesus gave me a stick with a nail in the end and told me to go around picking up paper and just gave me a shack by a little creek somewhere, I'd be happy. I'd be happy as a clam at high tide, knowing that I get to just be living in the same vicinity as my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So understand, understand that airport analogy. We're getting ready. And I've got a video on the 777 Flight 777 Christ Air, the Heaven 47. Check it out too, You'll, it'll really bless you because time's getting close. The time now is not to be sitting around in front of the television with our feet propped up in the Lazy Boy. It's not time to be going out and, and watching all the Hollywood movies and shows and getting involved in all the, the Game Boy and game systems and everything else. It's time to get out and reap the harvest. It's so plentiful, it's rotting in the fields. It's time to get out and share the good news of Jesus Christ. It's time to get out and, and get off the sidelines, get in the game, stop staying in the rear with all the gear and the food and supplies and get out to the front lines, volunteer to go to the front lines of the war and fight. Because we're in a war right now, my friends. Put on the full armor of God day and night and point the loss to the cross of Jesus Christ. 
where the Holy Spirit can gently kneel them in Jesus' precious blood can wash away their sins and make them whole. That's what it's all about. That's all I live for anymore is to do God's will and to do his work. I'm nobody. I'm nothing. A slave. A servant. The least in God's kingdom. A tiny fish in a huge pond. But I'm driven because God has spared my life so many times. Jesus Christ saved my life. He saved my soul when I was a young boy, but I was backslidden for over half my life. Frontline combat numerous times with the Marines. I should have died dozens of times in my life, but God always got me away unscathed for a reason. I believe the reason is what I'm doing right now. Just giving my all. Even though I can't give anything with the Holy Spirit behind me, I can be used as a slave for my master. A man just spend night and day, spend all my waking hours just hammering home the good news of Jesus Christ. Rebuking, correcting, and teaching when I need to. Encouraging when I need to. Praying when I need to. Being a counselor when I need to. Whatever I can do to show Jesus how much I appreciate him dying on the cross for my sins and sparing my life so many times. We're getting close. My friends, it's time to get real. It's time to get serious. It's time to get real serious. Don't let Jesus down. When he went back to heaven, after he rose again on the third day and made all of his appearances, he left man in charge to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Without us sharing it, it wouldn't get shared. There was no plan B. Let's get out there and show him. Thank you, Jesus, how much we love you and appreciate you so much what you did for us on the cross. Let's show him that by staying busy until the last second when he calls us home. And then we'll have time to kick back for eternity. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I love you so much, and I praise you and thank you for everything. I'm just so excited. I'm just in awe of what you do. Just give us strength. Give us the strength and gird us up. Give us the strength to be able to make it through the long hours of just doing all we can to point the loss to you and, and just help us to stay motivated, to stay strong, and to stay focused, and to stay on point until you call us home. I ask these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day and went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. Please forgive me of my sins, Jesus. Come live in my heart. Wash my heart pure as snow. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. You pray this prayer, Jesus says, that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. Once you get saved, get your King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. The way you feed your, your body with food and water every day, feed your soul and spirit with that Bible, read it every day. Pray to Jesus Christ every day. He's your new best friend. He loves you and wants to talk to you every day. Get water baptized. Pray to be sanctified in the Holy Spirit from head to toe as you draw closer to Christ and what little time we have left before the imminent rapture. Take your Bible to church. When the preacher preaches, open your Bible and compare what your Bible says to what he says. If they don't match, close your Bible, get up and walk out. Find somewhere else to worship at that preaches the Bible the way it's written. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you want me to pray for you for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me here. I had the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I prayed for it. I didn't earn it, didn't deserve it. Praise the Lord, he gave it to me. And I will pray for you every day, believing that God will answer all my prayers if I pray in his holy will. Please share the link to this channel, other channels, other videos from this channel with friends, neighbors, co-workers, loved ones, with strangers. Drop it in a blog somewhere. Plant a seed and walk away. Let God water it so it can grow. We have to preach the Word of God the way it's written. Not the soft soap, fluff, cotton candy, powder puff stuff that's out there. People won't get convicted when they hear that. To convict them, make them want to repent of their sins if they're backslidden Christian, or to come to Jesus Christ if they've never known Him, they have to hear the Word of God written the way that it, that it was made. The, the meat and potatoes with, with the side of key lime pie. The hardcore truth of the Word of God. That's the way I preach it here. Not because I'm anything, but because God's everything. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you. Good night.